I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And of course, it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes, yes. Just my luck. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Oh, go on. It will be fun. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means... I have free will, yes? It is simply... What should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it, or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. You're welcome. It's good to have a purpose, you know. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Oh, blast it. Yes.
I don't understand. You look like a woman. You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. So you understand my confusion, then? Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. What does that have to do with anything? No one gets to choose who they are. Of course not. It is who I am. That's not up to me. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Can they? We'll see. I see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. It must be the vertical pattern it put them in. Did it know to do that? It must have. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. Yes? Well, here I am. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do, but that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw, but there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. In my dream, I fell, or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? That is why you're a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop.
your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Well, if you're really interested, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately frostback mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. So, as I said, things were going well. But good things must come to an end. One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. No balls. They're touchy like that. Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tides. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. That's exactly how I see it. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. You're quite welcome. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount.
I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know.